today here on Blue Shift Ministries, we're going to talk about the Marine Kingdom Part 4. We're going to call this one Dimensions within the Marine Kingdom. In the Marine Kingdom, there are many dimensions. I'm sure all of you have heard of the Bermuda Triangle, the Madonnata Trench. The Madonnata Trench is such a glorious, deep, mysterious place. One can only speculate what's in there. Many may even say there could be a Lucifer's fallen that he manifested Cthulhu could be very much emerged from there. Many deep dark secrets, many prehistoric marine creatures could still be alive down there, which it has been proven. There's the um of course the giant kraken, the um the squid, the giant squid, the octopus. But I'm talking about the real kraken, the the, the kraken from and ancient times from ancient Greece could very well be in the matter now. Dimensions such as the Bermuda Triangle, where usually the sky and the ocean are in are, are in comparison. They are they are together. They are sisters, as you really. And wind and water has always been associated with the Holy Spirit. By the way, anyone um, in history, if you know your history, anyone that's mentioned wind and water in either their culture, their belief. Or what have you is always associated with the Holy Spirit many people may have a different name for it but it could be very well the same source but because it's marine spirits we must always question the spirit I'm going to say that again we must always question the spirit when it comes to everything but especially when it comes to marine spirits and the power of the air the air we all know who is the fallen angel of the air we all know who is the master of the air we all know it. So please, always, always, always practice discernment rather than curiosity. I'm going to say that again. Always practice discernment over curiosity. And I've made a video recently. Discernment is better than respect. Why? Because anyone can lie to you and make you feel they are respecting you when in fact they are using you. And that's pretty much what marine spirits are, that duality of manipulation, the psychological warfare. I've done many videos on psychological warfare. Psychological warfare on the marine kingdom level is always, always, always the hypnotic suggestion of seduction. I'm going to say that again. The psychological warfare of Lucifer and his principalities in the marine kingdom is always, always, always based on the level of seduction and the manipulation of, of hypnotic suggestion. There are many hypnotic suggestions in the ocean. Quite frankly, I think that's, I believe it's where it comes from because we have the sirens, Greek mythology. We have the harpies, Greek mythology of the air. Remember, air and wind and water, same sisters, it's the same elements in many ways. This is the reason when Father placed the flood, he literally poured the firmament with water no wind it was just water i want to say that again father's from water is perfection it's not like earthly water is very different as he pours his water into us into the earth this is eliminating all the influences of the air this is the reason all of the undesirables had to go into the ocean and be washed away this is the reason father said never again will i come in water for the next time it will be fire and I believe the reason why Father will return in fire is because I believe people are too far gone. There's going to be many manifestations that are happening right now. Neuralink, RFID chip, the clay mixing with metal. It's all in the Daniel's book of Daniel. Please read the book of Daniel. Back to the Marine Kingdom. As the dimensions are in in the marine kingdom. We must be very careful with these places. Let's start with the Bermuda Triangle first. The Bermuda Triangle, since the time of the military, World War II, there are many mysteries. Many people have disappeared into it. Planes have disappeared into it. Ships have disappeared into it. People have disappeared into it. I believe even land has disappeared into it. Many people have seen land, and then it's not there anymore. This is a huge psychological warfare of the Marine Kingdom. We must be very careful of these places because the Marine Kingdom is very powerful. And if you get trapped in these dimensions, God in heaven, you will have to be with Father to find your way out and not be trapped in the first place. 
the Marina trench clothes as deep, 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 deep as perhaps even Sheol. Is Leviathan in there? Is Cthulhu in there? Who is in there? These are very powerful questions that only that Father knows, and maybe we should always keep it to Father because Father created these places to bury certain abominations that we cannot handle and we should not provoke either. We must be careful with our excavations of the sea. I love it. I love excavations. I love swimming. I love the ocean. I love that. But I understand that I work for the kingdom of the Most High. And there are certain marine spirits and there are certain marine demonic entities that Father does not want us to know or to mix ourselves with. It's almost as if Adam and Eve all over again when Father says, do not consume of this apple when there's so many other fruits and trees. But then, of course, as we know the story, Adam and Eve failed. It's not because Father wants to control us. Father wants to protect us. And Father does go out of his way to protect us, including a great flood. That's a very powerful protection Father gave all of us. And Father has given us warnings. Father will always give us warnings. Father will always give us signs. Father will always give us time. Before Father committed the flood, he gave thousands upon thousands of years for everyone to understand that this can no longer be. You need to change. You need to come to the kingdom. I believe that time is upon us right now in many ways. We'll do another Marine Kingdom video. The next one will be based upon, I will check because I want to, I'm, I'm doing a check off list. Remember who you serve. We serve a God who never dies and always rises from the kingdom of the Most High. We must fast, repent, always be obedient and bloodline cleanse. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.